Regarding the statue of Sophia, I believe that those images for X-ray computer tomography, there are a lot of work actually being done both in academia and also in a corporate setting, reflecting the interest to shift from um, one size fits all, meaning non-patient specific radiation dosimetry calculations to patient specific dosimetry tools. And this is shifting nicely towards the development of artificial intelligence based tools which are capable of taking into account the specificities of the different scanners by different vendors, scanning protocols, and, and, and so on to produce actually more accurate estimates of the radiation dose there to patients. Our work actually is focusing mostly actually on optimizing the CT scanning uh, protocols from the clinical perspective in the sense that we develop basically tools to reduce the radiation dose to patients to offer the patients the way to better positioning within the X-ray scanner field of view and also optimizing the scanning protocols to reduce as much as possible radiation dose. Our tools actually are really dedicated for clinical use, meaning that most of the tools that we are developing actually can be translated to clinical practice and for the benefit of the patients. So these are not kind of academic-based developments, but really tools that are ready for clinical translation. So the tools that we are developing will help the patients in the sense that the dose calculation part is not going to be designed actually for kind of avatar which resembles the patients, but really dedicated for the specificities of the patient itself, meaning that it's really beneficial for the patients because the radiation dose is actually calculated or tailored actually to the patient demographics. And it will help actually the clinicians also to tailor the radiation dose he would like to deliver to the patient to achieve the better outcome possible at all. The idea is basically to make the tools developed within the collaboration available to different end users, including clinical users, mostly the clinicians, and also to make it available for research use, especially for students who like uh, those advanced tools, and they're very helpful actually in uh, the research being conducted in the field.